Assalamu alaikum. This is Imran from Edutainment World. It's a very lucky day for me because I'm having a great educationist from Sin along with me. It's my honor. It's my honor. Truly, it's my honor that he gave me the time. As I'm from Punjab, he's from Sin. As you know, that we are all aware about the education system in Punjab, but most of us are unaware I don't know about the proper education system in Sin. That's why I tried to contact him and he gave me the time and I want to get some information about the education system and we will also know about the difference between the education system in Lahore, uh, in Punjab and in Sin. So viewers, let's start the interview of our great personality. He is none other than the, the ordinary person. He is a great educationist from Sin. Assalamu alaikum sir. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you How so much. Sir? Fine, alhamdulillah. Thank First you so of all sir, I would like to th say thank you because you gave me the time and uh, it's uh, not less than an honor for me. That's so nice of you. Actually, I must be thankful to you that you have provided me the opportunity uh, to express my views and uh, to share my <clears throat> humble experiences with your audience. So I must be thankful to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, as I have noted down some questions uh, to introduce, to know some education differences from uh, uh, Punjab to Sin. And the first, uh, I will start a question uh, with your education background and your experiences, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Ibran, sir. Actually, my education is uh, from Sin. All, overall, my education is from Sin. And uh, I did my uh, matriculation from my village. Uh, I'm a road sheriff and then I did my FSC from uh, Government Degree College, Ghotki. Uh, after that, I <coughs> did my master's in chemistry uh, from Shah Abdul Latif University, Khairpur. And then I did my, I thought that I must go for another uh, option also. So I did my master's in Islamic studies, Islamic culture, uh, because of my family religious background as well and my personal interest also. So I did my master's in Islamic culture, then I did my MPhil also in Islamic studies. And the topic of my MPhil was my own great grandfather, uh, Sayyid Muhammad Shah Maruti. So the political, religious and, religious and spiritual services of Allama Sayyid Muhammad Shah Maruti. So was my thesis and topic. And secondly, I was interested in education as well and uh, uh, law as well. So I did my uh, law graduation from Khairpur also because Khairpur city is considered uh, throughout sin considered as hub of education. Right. So it is a well, very well known city uh, in terms of education and educational institutes. So I did my law graduation also from there and I did my master's in edu uh, education also, B.A. M.A. And uh, I was interested in martial arts also. So I got opportunity and I found some great teacher over there and I learned I, uh, martial arts also and I'm Black Bill first down also in uh, Kyokushin style. So this is my humble educational background. I am heading to PhD, inshallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. My next question is: What are the primary goals and objectives of a government of sin regarding the improvement of education system, and how are they being uh, prioritized and pursued? Uh, I must uh, share with you here. Actually, many people are unaware of <clears throat> the measures and steps which uh, sin government is uh, recently taking for uh, education development. Uh, since 2010, I must say that uh, the education and uh, recruitment of teacher, uh, teaching faculty uh, has been initiated on purely merit basis. No doubt before uh, 2010, I don't have that much uh, experience also, but I must say that from uh, 10, uh, 2010, the recruitment of teachers and uh, other officials in education department uh, is based on or has been conducted on purely merit basis and uh, I have uh, some good examples also that uh, HM's hired headmasters or principals you can say uh, in government schools were hired through IBA, Institute of Business Administration mm -hmm. and IBA conducted that uh, test for recruitment and those uh, HM's were uh, you know, hired on purely merit basis and those people are working extraordinarily excellent yani they are doing a super job so this is yani an amazing opportunity and very good opportunity for the people of sin and those deprived people who are uh, getting education in government schools so they have <coughs> transformed 
the government schools and there is a huge change big change in uh, government schools education system and they are putting all their blood and um, sweat for the education and for quality education no that's great mm -hmm. much improvement has been taken place yeah so <laughs> means the first indicator you know uh, i must uh, sorry to interrupt you first indicator yani uh, recruitment of teaching faculty on merit basis right. when the teachers are hired on merit basis so they perform well they are capable enough and uh, they are willing also and then they are performing well and that outcomes are coming for us right sir <clears throat> uh, sir my next question is uh, access to quality education is essential for inclusive development what steps are the government taking to ensure equitable access to education for all children across urban and rural areas in sind <coughs> as i earlier uh, shared with you that uh, first step which was taken that uh, recruitment or hiring of teachers on merit basis and the quality teachers have been inducted in the education system so those teachers uh, uh, and again this is the policy that uh, uh, recruitment recruitments have been made uh, on uni uh, union council basis okay yani uh, the teachers who belong this un union council so they will be serving in the same union council so right. all the people who have uh, who are capable enough and who qualified that test it was very tough test i must say so those people who qualified mm -hmm. that test that examination written test uh, so they will be serving in their own union council and uh, this is a <clears throat> great opportunity for them also because they don't have to travel uh, for long distance and they don't right. have to uh, move uh, for uh, so long and they are working in their own environment own union council own uh, surrounding and they are uh, working for their own people mm -hmm. so when they are working for their own people they own their children they own their institutes and they are working with dedication and uh, pure yani yeah, love and enthusiasm right sir second thing i must say that uh, uh, check and balance also has been ensured now government is taking uh, in serious measures for check and balance that uh, and uh, otherwise uh, training systems also have been introduced and uh, teachers are being given uh, proper trainings uh, on modern te teaching methodologies lesson planning and all those things are being implemented yani now uh, this is era this time sindh is observing and sindh is witnessing a great change and great development in the teaching uh, system as you mentioned that this is very very big change uh, exactly. has been taking place in the field of education since exactly uh, teachers quality and professional development significantly impact students learning outcomes how does the government support and encourage the professional growth of teachers to enhance the overall quality of education in sindh yes uh, it again links to my previous answer that uh, first uh, point is that hiring of teachers on merit basis when the teachers are hired on merit basis they are quality teachers and secondly uh, the things the professionalism needs some improvement also some planning also so again after hiring the merit based teaching faculty government is providing uh, providing them professional trainings and senior teachers uh, they are providing them subject wise trainings and they are providing them trainings regarding pedagogy and they are, they are providing them tra uh, trainings uh, regarding student psychology mm -hmm. and uh, they are providing them trainings about uh, lesson planning also and utilization of time also methodologies now they are uh, in sindh we are introducing uh, a uh, student center yani yeah, previously you know it was lecture based whatever yani yeah, the methodologies were mostly it was uh, teacher based uh, teaching system now it is interactive and it is a student based and uh, with yani yeah, activity based uh, learning has been introduced so uh, alhamdulillah uh, the students are getting benefit of, uh, and with uh, these developments my next question is technology is rapidly transforming education globally how is sin leveraging technology in the classroom and what initiatives are in place to promote digital literacy among students and teachers first of all uh, we must accept this thing that uh, we are lagging behind uh, in terms of technology in classroom 
it either it is punjab kpk sind or balochistan so throughout pakistan uh, i have observed this thing that we are lagging behind that the technology is not being used in classrooms frequently and we are uh, i don't know but we are it seems that we are unable to afford that much uh, system and uh, install that much technology in overall all classrooms uh, yes there are three sectors working in sind i must say that uh, first of all that the government sector uh, which is working uh, on broader basis and then second uh, is private sector also working in education there is huge number mm-hmm. of private institutes who are working for the quality education and who are working for the modern education and uh, for the development they have resources also and they are working uh, their best and then third sector is also that government has introduced uh, in sind uh, sind education foundation so that is a uh, uh, public private partnership so they are in the uh, yani sind government has involved uh, public into uh, yani government sector and they have uh, they are main stakeholders and they are uh, adopting the schools and they have been given chance so they are giving uh, subsidy to this uh, those uh, yani individuals right. the person who wants to open a school so he is approaching sind education foundation and uh, after some proper processing uh, that after that process they are uh, yani providing him opportunity okay you can op- open the school and we will be providing you book free of cost and uh, from through go- government side and we will pro- be providing you subsidy on per head according to number of students so okay. from that subsidy and they are providing them uh, yani uh, some financial assistance to establish infrastructure also so okay. with that much support so people individuals who are interested in education they are able to construct their school initially and they are able to enroll the students and they are able to uh, pay the salaries of their teachers from that subsidy which government okay. is providing so in yani these three sides uh, government uh, sind Uh, Synth is working on education, and this is giving a great opportunity. And now those people, especially, uh, yani private public in, uh, stakeholders, they are in, uh, introducing their computer labs also, and they are uh, introducing uh, LEDs in their classrooms. Wow, at least some great. students are taking some classes at least in wow. the on the digital. And yani they are using AVI aids also. Wow, and uh, I must great. say that government is also taking. Now they have made it mandatory that uh, most of the school schools are having the computer labs also ict labs and then uh, many schools are having other opportunities also and yeah, other facilities also uh, i must include here <coughs> Uh, that uh, like uh, many stakeholders yani you know, mostly it has been yani you know, very much uh, popular that politicians are not working and politicians mm-hmm. in the are that uh, not taking interest i have observed some politicians mm. like uh, ma'am nafisa shah she is mna from district khairpur her constituency uh, and she has introduced a network of libraries throughout her constituency in even uh, beyond her constituency oh, throughout the district so many libraries and digital libraries have been established and many students uh, from far flung areas even villages towns uh, mostly the towns which are deprived from uh, basic facilities even but there is a established library there is someone mentor and the students are coming here uh, uh, coming to, uh, to those libraries to quench their thirst of education and they are being guided and mm-hmm. they are getting benefit of these libraries i must add also here <clears throat> that uh, they have adopted some schools also in khairpur districts and those are like model schools and uh, in those schools most of the facilities have been provided digital libraries uh, either it be digital libraries either it be avi aids projectors multimedia room and then uh, all the facilities almost science labs all these things have been provided one more person i know that uh, chief sardar mohammad mohammad bakhshan mahar in godki so i saw him also that uh, being a uh, tribal lord also but he is well educated and uh, a well groomed personality and he is also putting a huge focus and uh, interest in education system and right. in godki also he is supporting education institutes and in schools and establishing libraries so now that uh, system has been changed uh, people have got awareness and our politicians our all stakeholders social uh, uh, what we say circles and uh, social activists everyone is because now we have realized 
that we cannot develop, we cannot prosper without education. Yeah, because yeah, when yeah. our generation is educated, then we can prosper, then we can develop. Uh, without education, we cannot do anything. Yes, you are right. You are right. So, my viewers, now you can come to know about the importance of this interview. Because even I'm also running a channel of education, but the thing he has mentioned never ever been mentioned in even in media and in social media and any other platform so i'm 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 very lucky that uh, to have your interview and you gave us much information about sin education yeah so nice of you uh, sir actually uh, this is the thing that uh, most of the thing media channels and the people are unaware of or uh, they are not introducing and that they are not promoting uh, <clears throat> they are not sharing with public so i'm thankful to you that through your channel we will be sharing the real things and ground realities uh, of education in sin and the recent developments of education in the field of education in sin so Thank you so much for providing this uh, wonderful platform to me. Well, sir, uh, I want to ask some more questions, <coughs> if you don't mind. Please. Uh, mm. The role of parents in the form of parental environment is crucial for ch child's academic success. How does the government of SIN foster collaboration between schools and parents to create conductive <coughs> learning environment? Uh, thank you so much for posing this question and this question I must count as a one of the heart wrenching questions and this is very much uh, a <clears throat> painful question. Uh, unfortunately till now, even at this moment I am talking, so parents involvement has been minimal towards the education of their children. Government has made, uh, made education free of cost until grade 10. The education is totally free of cost in since government schools. But again, uh, parents are uh, not ready to send their children to schools. Why it is so? Uh, actually, they are thinking about short term things and they are not thinking about long term uh, things. For example, okay. uh, they have to go uh, to crops, they have to go to their lands and they have to tender their uh, buffaloes and sheep. So they involve them in those things, activities, instead of sending them uh, towards a school. So means these things can be any managed also but uh, there is a lack, lack of education parental education so they don't realize the importance of education till now unfortunately uh, government is introducing uh, awareness sessions also i mean uh, awareness session and uh, i myself have conducted some awareness session and motivated uh, tried to motivate i must say i tried to motivate parents but uh, some of them alhamdulillah got motivated rest of them remained same we we, we need to work on them further uh, so the government has established uh, smcs also a school management committee and they have involved uh, locals in managing their school yani some uh, person whose children are studying in my school for example so that parent also must be the chairman of smc then members of smc the principal of that school and some teachers of that school and some other members from the society from that town from their <coughs> that circle surrounding and mohalla so those members are coming together every month and they are having meeting about progress in school progress of their children education and progress of uh, <coughs> utilization of the funds which government is sending what did you purchase now this fund has been sent from uh, th uh, by government now this should be utilized for solarizing uh, the school because of uh, electricity issue so some schools are utilizing accordingly so solar panels are they are uh, uh, installing and then they are uh, for example pure uh, clean drinking water facility yeah. so from this fund uh, also but it is also being utilized through smc school management committee right. so this is a good step actually and yani all stakeholders are working together means you uh, you want to say that there is a dire need to create a awareness among the parents yes. about the importance yeah. of education this thing we are lacking in and we must uh, work it on it more right sir right sir so sir education can play a significant role in promoting cultural understanding and tolerance how is the education system in sin designed to foster intercultural awareness and respect among the students from diverse backgrounds? Yes, uh, <clears throat> uh, curriculum and teacher, these two things play main role uh, on uh, um, 
setting up the minds of the students and molding them towards a good human being and a balanced human being uh, uh, and a harmonious society. So teachers also playing the role uh, to guide the students uh, for this uh, cultural heritage and harmony. First of all, must, we must own the, our own culture and then we must respect all other cultures also. Uh, like I must quote one example here that uh, it is very common and popular in Sin uh, in December most probably mostly uh, we celebrate Sindhi culture day okay. and uh, it is celebrated on a greater scale and all students are allowed even teachers everyone is allowed to come in their cultural dress come in Ajrak and Sindhi Topi and uh, then uh, they dance on uh, Sindhi uh, folk songs Music and like they that. show and present their culture, they present, they have their stalls also and they present their village life also like uh, many things. So in that culture, uh, cultural day, either uh, even though it is a purely uh, Sindhi culture day, but again in Sindhi culture day, we allow, we encourage students to come in their Pashtun dress, to come in their Punjabi dress, anyway there are performances on Punjabi songs also, mm -hmm. there are performances on Pashto songs mm -hmm. also, Kashmir is also included. So this is giving a great message to students, all the, means our new generation, that we are one, we are all equal and these all colors belong to us. So we all are the flowers with different fragrances. Right, Before pr proceeding uh, our interview, our session, uh, I want to tell you uh, one more thing that uh, in other interviews, in other channels, you will see him fully dressed. But uh, I want to let you one thing that this is a uh, off session of uh, education because uh, it's a vocation all over the Pakistan. So that's why he is having, he, he, uh, he, he told me that I, uh, I would present uh, my interview in a casual dress. So that's why, even though it, it doesn't matter, but it's, <laughs> his appearance is very important for my channel. I must say that uh, our brother caught me somewhere and uh, whatever uh, the position I was, so, but I mustn't deny, I mustn't deny, I must participate in this thing, I must share my opinion, I must right. share my experiences. Right. So, uh, dress code is not that much important. The things which we are discussing, those are very crucial. But sir, uh, according to uh, the media, the social media, uh, appearance does matter. But uh, it, it, in, 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 in behind the scene, behind the scene, the appearance doesn't matter. The personality behind the character does matter. I think so. Much. Am I am I right, sir? Exactly. You're right, sir. As you know that uh, in the past COVID nineteen pandemic has disrupted education worldwide, not in Pakistan. Uh, what strategies did Sindh adopt to m mitigate the impact of pandemic on students' learning? And what lessons have been learned to improve the resilience of the education system during future challenges? Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, it was a, uh, what we say, a different experience uh, which we experienced first time in our lives. So during pandemic, uh, Sindh realized that if we stop education, that will be a great loss to our generation because we are already uh, we have already faced many difficulties. We have already suffered and uh, have had a huge loss in education system due to different factors and reasons. So throughout sin, all government, private, you know, all educationists, I, can, I should say, instead of quoting government, instead of quoting private people. So all educationists uh, realize this thing that we must uh, not quit, we must continue education rather. So education was continued. Uh, initially, it was uh, huge pressure from government side, from uh, international community and worldwide. Uh, from United Nations, World Health, uh, Health Organization, that we should close all the schools, students should not come outside, blah, 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 all these things. So, uh, gradually, uh, we in Sindh started the education uh, in uh, intervals or uh, on alternate days also. 
so less number of students were called and uh, one student on one bench and second student on second bench so one by one on a distance and we took uh, precautions everyone was wearing mask all schools were utilizing uh, sanitizers and all precautions were taken and education was continued and second thing uh, most of the schools did in uh, sin uh, one of them i must quote most successful uh, conduction of uh, LMS system so Bak Turk Marif International Schools and Colleges uh, Turkish based education system they also conducted uh, online classes as well and the teachers were called in different uh, what we say uh, timings and uh, they used to come in one classroom there was uh, what we say uh, system camera mic everything was and smart boards were installed and teachers uh, um, <coughs> gave the lectures and they shared their lessons with their students and students attended those lessons from their home and yeah. students were given homework and they did their homework and they have to submit they had to submit their homework on time given time and teachers were bound to check their homework and they and provide them the results so like that uh, yani on alternate days and uh, and uh, yani less number of students were called and uh, sometimes online classes were also given so this study many different strategies were applied but education was not stopped right that's very great okay sir uh, what do you say about uh, as uh, the education education during the pandemic covid pandemic and now the education system uh, is there any differences and, and do and do you uh, are you satisfied that you have overcome the ability of a student that uh, has been faced by the students on during the academic uh, pandemic yes although it was a huge loss and a gap uh, which must have been covered and uh, yes till now i must say that it has been covered because okay. after that uh, teachers uh, and uh, parents is even also they also realize that there's that is a loss of their children education so teachers parents everyone uh, in the society they put huge effort and uh, the uh, loss has been almost covered again i must repeat uh, i must uh, say that recent flood uh, which affected sin uh, sin so that again it was like a pandemic and uh, for a long time the schools were uh, closed yani we were unable to open the schools because of flood there was a flood water in the schools and most of the school buildings were damaged so again that last we are covering and uh, inshallah taala may allah keep us may allah protect uh, everyone from these kind of uh, disasters and uh, we are covering that loss inshallah inshallah hope for the best thanks for the answer sir uh, now we move toward uh, one most important and most hatna question that i want right. to ask uh, the question is that uh, is there any political influences on sin education system and how does the government ensure its independence and autonomy while promoting the curriculum that fosters critical thinking and well rounded education for students and thank you so much yeah it was really it is really a most uh, khatarnak question <laughs> <laughs> so i must answer it actually uh, imran sir that uh, every government is a political entity right. if there is a people's party government in sense so that is also through, uh, overall a political entity if there is a government of uh, non league or uh, pti in punjab so that is also a political entity mm-hmm. but i must say that governments uh, do their tasks governments uh, are based on performance so when governments uh, have to show their performances they work uh, in a systematic way uh, it is not like that political influence that people will influence politically and they will change the things yes uh, since government is working like i told you that on grassroots level uh, on union council even on our say every school based there is a smc school management committee so okay. some stakeholders from the society are involved and one of the parents is made the chairman of the uh, that uh, school management committee teachers are involved and some other uh, uh, local people are involved so right. they come together definitely though uh, some of them are uh, belong to some any uh, any one of the political party also but they come together and they think out of the box and they think what are the uh, needs of this school and how to improve this school uh, for the betterment uh, for the better future of our children so right. this is a general interest and there is no political influence in these things secondly 
uh, I must quote here that uh, as I told you that uh, uh, I have been observing yani since long uh, the hiring and the recruitment of the teachers is on purely on merit base so as i quoted iba headmasters and other teachers right. now recent hiring thousands of teachers were hired but they were hired on purely merit basis and they say there is no yani i must say there is no political influence or mm-hmm. interference uh, if there is there is for the betterment yani mm-hmm. for right. some quality and for the improvement of for education, improvement for the education. so it's not it's not uh, bad uh, that influence uh, if the government in uh, uh, partake in some sort of uh, influences in uh, in education system if they are doing if for they are reforms. making for the better for the yeah, form for reformation of for betterment uh, right this is very good how does the system affect the education system because uh, as i uh, listened from different per- person or from the media that uh, they never let their people uh, to get higher education because after getting the education they will come to know about their rights and they will uh, stand in front of them actually this is very unfortunate that uh, this misconception and this perception has been established yes it might be in old days very uh, in past but uh, okay. since long uh, i have not uh, yani i haven't observed these kind of things and uh, no one is forcing anyone Uh, that you shouldn't go to school or you shouldn't send your children to school if they get educated they will come in front of us they will be equal to us so this is not like that this is just a perception or we can say just a misconception which has been okay. spreaded i think yes in previous days in past maybe uh, uh, very uh, uh, so far uh, it might be over there uh, 40 to 50 years yeah, back if you talk about not 40 50 years back because uh i must go uh, almost uh, if we say maybe 100 years back it is it was possible or it was it existed but uh, i don't see these things in 50 years uh, tenure but sir even as uh, uh, if i talk about myself that i have seen many dramas in that dramas the vidaras never let their laborers to get the education then why it is okay. so then why the drama or social media is spreading this kind of uh, false things actually uh, i must say that social media or our electronic and print media must play uh, a positive role and must reflect uh, the positive things also uh, instead of reflecting negative things one thing yes it is possible in rare cases uh, there might uh, it might be possible and there are uh, some cases but they are very rare yani if one person did something and it is spreaded like that throughout since this is happening and everyone is suffering and no one is able to go to school and what is is keeping on gun points so this is not like that actually okay. so in rare cases it is happening and it is happening everywhere in punjab kpk balochistan everywhere it is happening but in rare cases this is not general practice so i must uh, explain here that uh, uh, yani this is not uh, yani vadera shahi and like that okay your children cannot go to school and they cannot get education everywhere everyone you know, in every village there is school and uh, there are teachers and students are coming and parents are also aware yani now recently that our children should get education yes though uh, they are not taking that much interest parents themselves but again uh, there are schools and people are going to schools yes quality of education must be enhanced improved mm-hmm. and then facilities must be improved and uh, the government is in- improving or increasing uh, it's a uh, what we say intensity and potency so inshallah taala uh, gradually we will be uh, developing in better way thank you so much sir for your time i, I never had been to karachi um, because no, I, i invite you uh, uh, so sure you i will come i will come, come over there and let's visit some schools together and uh, your perception will be changed uh, right right sir in the last uh, i want to have some golden words or a message for my viewers uh actually i must uh, say something uh, i must give uh, my message to your audience uh this era you know uh, there is a uh, lot of development and there are big changes now they are taking place and uh, the society and education system everything is transforming and there are many reforms and changes so first of all our teachers and our students everyone must keep them updated right and up to mark 
we must uh, be yani ke aware of and uh, recent developments in education system recent developments in uh, world economy and markets what is going on for example uh, if i am doing now ba which is traditional i will study mutala pakistan i will study urdu grammar and all these things so this will not serve me yani uh, this thing i cannot get cashed so okay. in the market so unfortunately education is normally i according to my perception education is uh, just to education uh, yani uh, education is a thing which makes us yani some responsible citizen or some yani it changes our behaviors behaviors right, uh, but unfortunately what we have done uh, we are taking education as yani what we say a source of job right so but it means uh, it, i uh, it means that getting up education is not enough um, by getting your education it should be shown in your character yes exactly uh, i must quote here that uh, normally people consider the information as education if you know the physics chemistry all these things on fingertips mathematics you know very well you are good at these things but a person knows all these things and he doesn't have manners he doesn't he is not a good human being then i mustn't say that he is well educated i i can say he is well informed he has a good information but he is not well educated, educated. so education is the name of this information this knowledge as well as the manners and behaviors behaviors, behaviors right so right. this uh, th- this combination is actually the education so unfortunately now our generation uh, it has much of good information about information technology chat gpt artificial intelligence all these things trading all these things but unfortunately we are lacking in uh, behavior manners and behavior uh, changes are taking place very uh, negatively Thank you sir thank you for your time and you have given a not a lot of not an ordinary information but more than you have given us a more than enough information about Karachi about say, education uh, education of sin so uh, thank you so much sir actually uh, there are a lot of things uh, due to shortage of time we couldn't discuss mm-hmm. and if i got the opportunity inshallah taala we will be discussing the things in detail uh, but again uh, whatever this just came in my mind i shared with you and yes, this was a, a genuine perception genuine uh, what we say okay viewers the information i have collected from abdur rahman sahab is not an ordinary and even though even though you will not find the all these information from the social media from any website this information is given by the personality and i am very thankful to him to have some time so inshallah hope uh, if uh, if i if, if i get a chance to visit karachi then i will uh, surely uh, contact him to have some extra information thank you sir yeah, thank you so thank much sir. i am already inviting you and thank you, you must uh, visit and you must see the things over there and yes, uh, then uh, you will experience and you will be sharing the experiences with them thank instead you, of me thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir assalam alaikum allah hafiz